Hello. Uh, there were questions regarding uh, their Z, their X, Y, Z coordinate. So uh, for that, for Z, you need to remember the following. So there is a plane of stationary beacons, which are positioned currently on, I don't know, 2.2 meters or something. So there is a plane. And imagine that there, the copter is here. So the copter is currently kind of on the pinnacle of the pyramid, which is facing uh, top. And when the copter is in the middle of the room, then the angle to the plane is high. Maybe, I don't know, 40 degrees, 45 degrees. So it means that um, when their mobile beacon is measuring the distance from their from the mobile beacon to the station beacons, uh, the uh, error in the distance measurement realized in pretty small error in Z measurement. It's about the same. It's slightly uh, higher, but still it's about the same. But when we are approaching the plane of the station beacons, the Z error becomes really huge. So it means that uh, if you want Z to have very uh, little uh, error, it's very important that the copter will not fly in the plane of station beacons. The copter must fly either seriously below or above the plane of uh, station beacons. Because uh, in, in the plane XY error will be the, the, the smallest one, but Z will be very, very big one. Uh, this is why it's recommended either to place the station beacons really high to the ceiling, and in this case, copter will never fly to the plane, or place station beacons on the ground, and in this case, uh, mobile beacon must be placed on the copter on the belly, and always fly above uh, the area or above the plane of station beacons. Sometimes it's not possible to, uh, to meet this requirement, for example, when the copter is just taking off from the ground. Uh, but in this case, users must understand that the tolerance or the precision of Z measurement in this plane will be the least.